hey guys good evening welcome back to the channel um i just helped lila out to take out like um like a splinter under her feet it's like a tiny splinter like so tiny so um i helped her take that out it feel better it still hurts but it'll come okay you just have to be brave okay um good evening i just got back from work i'm very tired guys i have not picked up the camera in like a week now a lot happened not crazy things happened but um i was trying to upload the q a you guys saw you guys already saw it um i was trying to upload that for the past three days that video was like god doesn't want me like not god devil doesn't want me to upload it um a little story behind it we filmed it hmm? We filmed it, sorry, it's right over there. We filmed it, I edited it. I wasn't supposed to edit it that night, but I took the time, I edited it, and I went to bed. I was like, you know what, I'll upload it the next day. The next day, I tried to upload it. Uh, my internet went crazy. We have to like, we have to like reset the whole internet, call tech savvy, because I use tech savvy. Call tech savvy, and then they were like, we were on the phone for like an hour just to like reset the whole thing because there's no technical problem on their side so it's within my house so i tried to do that with them on the phone and um my video didn't upload so finally the internet came back so i started uploading it it was so slow like one like how do i say one percent will be uploaded for like 30 minutes that's how slow it was like one percent will upload it like would take like uh, uh 30 minutes 38 minutes and i was like what in the name is this so that took from like around 2 p.m that took the whole night till next day and the next day i looked at it it was like um 50 something percentage so i was like it will be fine by the time the night comes it will be fine at night time when i looked at it it was 95 percentage guess what happened i don't know what i pressed on my computer i deleted the whole thing i was going nuts i deleted the editor one i don't know what just what happened but for some reason it got deleted okay so i had to edit the whole thing back again and start uploading and then the whole video took me like three hours to like edit it anyways and then start uploading it again oh my gosh this uploading took two days two days i was go i was at work i'll be calling user back and forth how many percentage how many percentage at one point she told me like for like two three hours she told me it was still on 86 at 86 percentage something like that right 85 percentage users over there for the longest time and i was like and i kept calling like every hour she would tell me like still there and it's like what in the name like what's going on so anyway i just forget about it i'm like you know what whatever um and a lot of you guys kept messaging me on instagram what happened to our video you said you're gonna upload it the next day i was like i don't even know what i don't even know what i don't even want to explain anything when it's ready it's ready so finally it was ready yesterday that was last night like around seven like mm -mm. so the inter i don't know if it's my computer maybe it's getting old or uh, usually you have any video to upload i want to see how it's gonna like work on your no, not yet. So that was that. Another thing, I feel like I'm gonna be rambling a lot before I start the, today's vlog. Another thing, I don't know why people are getting after me, guys. People are coming after me, especially Nigerians. Usually, you, you hear what happened? Did I tell you what happened? About the news. Yeah. I didn't, you didn't tell me, but I heard it. You heard it from where? And oh. And so, guys, I don't know why Nigerians are doing this to me. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with some people. I know I have a lot of enemies, but I don't know they hate me this much. Like, this much. But you know what? When you have good mind, good heart, you just do your thing. Focus. No matter what they do to you, and you pray hard. No matter what people do to you to bring you down, it will always bring you up. Lila, excuse me, please. I'm talking. Can you actually excuse me right now? Thank you. No matter what they do to you, 
to pull you down you will always go up in higher places okay so about a week ago my husband what happened hey ninja and sorrow mm -hmm. what is it <laughs> okay so guys let me come out scissors everyone is like <laughs> What, They're not letting me talk, both the long Mommy, and the can short you ones. Lila, Lila, can you actually excuse me? Like, go play somewhere, or go with Malik, or go with Caesar. Like, I need you to excuse me. Sorry, guys. I just need to like get focused and talk to you guys, and my kids are like distracting me a lot, and it's like not good. So, about a week ago, my husband Aye called me and said, Abby. Um, some people said this somebody not email sent him like a Facebook message saying that they took the routine pictures that I did in my videos you know like um skincare routine maybe I was in the shower trying to like show you guys my skincare routine from my hair here you know whatever I don't know which one and some people allowing like blog like newspapers in nigeria cut that part of me in the bathroom uh saying that this is the wife that are you married exposing herself how she lives her lives in abroad wrote like a whole blog about me putting me down like saying some bad things about me this is not Isla how islamic women this is this is not the right way i should dress this is how i go out on my everyday life wrote a whole thing about me and they're selling that blog and so a lot of people are calling my husband saying that oh you should caution your wife the way she dress in public you should caution your wife the way she expose herself and i was like so they actually they know what the video is all about but because you just want to like ruin my reputation somehow or just put me out there and say something mean to me i don't know what they're thinking but that really messed me up i didn't get messed up like i was mad or anything they just messed me up for nigerians like because these people are nigerians like the person that did it knows for sure that i was not i was putting a message out to a lot of women like i was doing um women's female females hygiene something like that and then you know exactly what i was doing but the fact that you know that because my husband is a muslim and then it will look bad on him for his wife to look like this in public you decided to make a blog newspaper out of it just like mock me and you make money out of it what have i done to some nigerians like seriously why are you doing this i looked at my husband when he was saying that to me I was like it didn't feel any hurt because usually like things like that will hurt my husband like thinking he would get really mad and upset I, and i looked at him he didn't even get mad at all it was like this make me strong abby it came out from his mouth i was like really he knows that i i did that kind of video to like educate to like help some women out there you know women's hygiene he looked at me I was like this make me stronger because a lot of people calling me sending me messages messages saying that Oh, this is not the way your wife should dress. He didn't make my husband feel any house like they can say whatever they want. As long as I know the truth about you, I know you, I live with you, I see you every day. We don't hide things from each other. So I believe you. If anyone in the world doesn't believe you, I believe you. And that makes me feel so secure. So a lot of you guys, Nigerians, I don't know why some of you guys just want love to like ruin people's reputation. Some Nigerians don't like good news. When they see there's bad news, people that are making it big time, when they see that their life is like turning around, turning around to be like messy and you know, that's what they like. They don't like good news, they don't like something happy, they don't like to see that you, you're a millionaire now, they don't like to see that you build a house, they don't like to see that you buy a car, they don't like to see that you travel. Some people, all they want to see is for you to like, your downfall, see you break down, see you cry see you you know and that's not gonna happen to me you know why i'm a very focused person i don't care mm -mm. i don't like i'm not saying bad word i'm just talking okay i'm a very focused person i face where i'm going nothing is gonna distract me and i'm so happy that my husband is in that form like that form right now that shape right now that he's very focused we just face where we are going so no matter what you put together about us 
all the lies that you cooked and feed people that is your problem okay so the blog that you put out and people are buying it and rushing it good for you good for you but i'm sending a message to you that that blog is not mine that blog or everything that you put on there wherever put it on there that was not what i was that was, that was not what i intend to do i intend to like educate women about female's hygiene women's hygiene you know skincare routine and all of that stuff but for you to cut that part and take a picture and screenshot my video and put a whole then it's just really sad so anyways um i just needed to put a Okay guys, I'm cooking. I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Um, I'm cooking some fish, turkey, and chicken. And I'm going to add cooked eggs in it. And we're going to be eating that with rice. Delicious. So. And yeah, I want to carry you guys along tonight. The other day, Yusra um, recorded their morning routine. Just like, was daddy there? No. Was daddy there? Yeah, he came. With the morning routine? Like two minutes. Like two minutes? Okay, daddy wasn't really there. So just use Ra and okay. if I'm editing it, if I said I need to go on use Ra's channel, it will go on use Ra's channel because I realized that, oh, I wasn't there. So it won't be like a family. So it can be like on a channel how she do morning routine with her little sister. Too much food in this house. We have no more space. See, uh, on top of our cubby, too much. We have no our fridge is like where do you want to put me again like too much so but it's good around this time and the kids are eating i try to buy good food in the house healthy food and i just ordered them i just ordered them um more toys because they need it honestly like unless i want i want to lie to myself this time I, they're doing I'm doing my best when it comes to their school work and user is gonna be helping me out too so um they still need to like play so and since they're not going out so I decided to order some toys for them not really toys toys but like they will like it so I did that last night and um, it's gonna come like on Monday or something which is tomorrow's Monday so yeah that's what's that Guys, I want to show you guys this. I was actually eating this this morning. I didn't finish it. This is Nigerian meat pie. My sweet Abin, my friend, she ordered this for me and she brought it over to my house the other day. She act she came to drop something off and then she brought this with the stuff that she came to drop off for me. And yo, where is this restaurant again? It's called Twins Kitchen. Twins, no, Twins in the Kitchen and oh i ripped it off by me i can't tell you guys their address but yo this is good they're in toronto for sure this is really delicious i tried it i'm like yo i'm gonna get more so um yeah dinner is still coming together not ready yet rice guys look at my food i threw in some eggs in there that's what i do not like eggs but this one is gonna be so delicious um, yes, it's still hurting. You just have to work with it, Lila. No, mommy, not oh. that. It's not this part. Go put some slippers on, please. These people, they're counting for their dad to get up. They called daddy, and daddy said it's gonna be up in like 20 seconds. 18, 19, 20. This is gonna be downstairs now. Let's check. How do I even know where it's parked? You always park like right down. Let me see. Oh, 
That's his car. No, he's there. He's right there. That's daddy parking. He's here. Here again. You know what happened when we were watching that movie? Yeah, she was, she was in trouble with her mom. No, no. What, what Malika did when we were watching the movie? She's you know riding a horse. Listen, do you know what you did when we were watching the movie? We selected the movie and you fell asleep. I'm not sorry. Daddy's gonna go take a shower. Again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every time we shower. come back from outside during this corona, we'll take a shower. Mm -hmm. And we need it. So, we're gonna wait for daddy, okay? Show you guys my steel. Ooh. This is it. Yes. This is it guys. Try 